and I'm going to switch the controller on. And um, I'm going to go back to... Let me get the game running first. Let me get, sorry, big picture running. Right, now if I go back to here, and then down here I put monitor capture on, and it's capturing monitor 1, is that right? It is. So if I get rid of that junk. Right, so, we have our usual big picture-y nonsense. Let me uh, tune that down a little bit, because I suspect that's full screen. No, it isn't. All right. Let me just make it so that it sort of fits in that sort of thing. Vinia Finland, thank you for the follow, much appreciated. Now you're seeing pretty much the whole screen of um, of big picture on there. Right. Um, I just want to check the donations. We're at twenty eight ninety at the moment. Yep, that's it. I haven't missed anybody. So if I go back to uh, here and we go to library and then we fire up a uh, train simulator from here. And we wait a moment. And we wait a moment. Because the game seems to take a while to start on my machine because I've got so much installed in it. Here it comes. Now, I'm going to set this up again so that you can see what I'm doing with the uh, Steam controller. It's not really helpful, is it? Um, let's go with that, and I'll just what I'll do is I'll come over here, and then you can you can see the Steam controller. Right, so I've done the same thing here that I did with fishing, in that I'll hold the grip button down. So just as an overview again for those who haven't seen it, didn't see it the last time I had it on. On the bottom you've got grip buttons, which are extra buttons you've not seen on other controllers. If you see the Elite Xbox controller, the really expensive one, that's got grip buttons as well. So this has got the grip buttons. It's got um, these two haptic touch pads up here. Um, and it's got ABXY buttons. You've got a joystick um, down here. And then you've got this uh, back start and the um, effectively the home button on there as well. There is a micro USB port there which serves to deal with the um, if you wanna I think it'll be used for charging if you've got a charging pack but I think it allows you to run it as a wired controller. Uh, I've not tried running it without batteries um, as a wired controller that would be interesting to try. You've got the standard trigger and uh, trigger and bumpers uh, on the front and otherwise than that, it's pretty much, I mean, it fits in the hand really nicely. Uh, it's quite a big controller, um, but I quite like it, to be honest. Um, so what I've done is I've made it to where when you hold this left grip here in, then you can use the touchpad, if you look at this, the, as a mouse. Now what that means is, you see, normally you'd be doing this, you know, left, left, right, right, left, 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 trying to find something. Um, whereas with this, I can just hover my mouse over it and just do it like I would normally do things. So, you know, if we go into the store, you just tap, click the button, it actually has a click. So you can click the button to, to navigate around, which means it's much, much more intuitive. Yeah? Right, now I'm going to do, have to move it into a changing route. Let me just get into a train while I, uh, um, so that I can show you it. Be right with you. DWR King Class is well done, Matt. Very noble cause indeed. Two pounds, thank you very much. Cameron's Gaming, eight pounds. Says hi, Matt. Well done for staying up for so long. Keep it up. We're going to keep it up. Absolutely. We're at two nine zero zero. One hundred pounds to go, folks. One hundred pounds to go. Right. So I'm going to do this scenario. This is. Um, 
I'm not going to run this scenario, I'm just going to show the loco with this scenario. Well, that's interesting. Right. Of course, we've got two copies of the game running now. Let me turn that one off. Right, so the game's actually detected. I've got an Xbox controller, so I can use the buttons like I would normally use on the Xbox controller. Um, I can um, use the mouse wheel or the joystick as I would uh, the top left joystick normally so I'm just using d-pad left and right to change between those things I can use the mouse um, and I can look around I can't look around at the moment because I've got track IR enabled but normally just moving the, um, the track IR here the tracker here would actually move the view around um, the same as it would if you're moving the joystick around. Oh, we just had another donation of a pound. Thank you. However, let's say I look down here, and I now use the mouse. Now I've got access to every control imaginable that I wouldn't normally have access to. I can get hold of anything. Yeah, this is the key difference. If you're looking for that sit-back gaming then you're not going to get that with an Xbox controller because so many locos you have to use the basic cut down version of the loco whereas with this you can do everything with the mouse that you would normally be able to do with the mouse without having to remember which magical up down XXY combination actually does the job now the other thing is that there are some things that you might want to be able to do there's, there's quick functions so there's the D-pad uh, the up down left right cross thing um, what this has got is you can either set it up, you'll notice on there it actually, I don't know if you can see it very well, it's actually etched in the shape of a D-pad and it's not, it's just another touch thing. And another pound donation, thank you, 29.02, so 98 pounds to go. Um, and if it just, I've set this one up, again this is my profile, you can set it up how you want. Um, I've set it up, so when I hold it up I get a bunch of options come up on the screen here. And this is a big picture thing. This this is not part of the game. So headlights plus plus headlights minus previous cab, next cab. So I can change around. I've got the AWS DSD. I can toggle PZB and C for, and I've got all the PZB commands down here. Which means I can now drive a full German loco PZB enabled with all the PZB and C functionality off this controller. That's amazing. That means that if you're sitting down, and even if you're not sitting in a living room, you're sitting in your desk, it's still you're sitting back, which is infinitely more comfortable, in my opinion. Now, does this replace, as I said yesterday, does this, whoops, does this replace a keyboard and mouse? No, it does not. Does it replace a bespoke controller like the rail driver? No, it does not. But if you don't have that, um, or you don't want to use the keyboard because you want to sit back, then this is a vastly superior to having an Xbox controller, in my opinion, my personal opinion. Um, because it's very flexible. Now if I go into big picture and look at configure controller what you'll find is that here you get this big picture of all the stuff that you can do. Big picture, hey? <laughs> um, and you can remap any of these buttons that you want to do. So let's say the left bumper. When I press the left bumper at the moment it's going to send a left bumper to the game. But I can actually make it spend, send a space bar to the game if I want to. So let's just make a spender space bar. And we press that. See? Now if I press this button. Ninja Joker 77, it's a great cause. This is it. £100. £3,000. Ninja Joker, you are a hero. You are an absolute hero. As is everybody, frankly. It wouldn't have got here without everybody. £3,000. And 3,000 followers. That's just stunning. I'm just gobsmacked. I mean, seriously, that is... Wow. Thank you, Ninja Joker. Thank you, everybody. I'm going to shut up hassling you now. <laughs> um, so, yes, you can remap controls. You can remap all sorts of things on this thing. So, you've got buttons which you can remap. And you can remap it so that the... 
a, a joystick, a gamepad button maybe does a left mouse button or it does a, uh, a right joystick click or an up arrow. You can even set it to do multiple things. So you can see this toggle multi button on. So you can set it to do control E. Um, <coughs> which is uh, epic. Absolutely epic. I mean, I just cannot believe that we got the 3000. I mean, Ninja is. Uh, Ninja is awesome. Ninja is truly awesome. Um, I'm really touched by that. Actually, that's that's really awesome. Uh, Jack Sims has chucked another 270 on the kitty, so we're up to 3,000, almost 3,005. Thank you very much, Jack Sims. Really appreciate. Um, now, D pads or the the touch pads. What can you do with these? Because these are where they get really funky. You've got this touch menu thing, and you can say touch menu button one is going to be thing marked headlights plus, and it's going to have H, and you can even put icons on them now. That's a new thing they've added. So you can set up all of the touch menu controls. Uh, the other thing you can set up are you can make it a scroll wheel, which I showed with the fishing. Now that's where you you spin the control essentially. It doesn't actually turn, but you move your hand finger around it. So if you want to increase something or decrease something you could do that. I did actually at one point have it set so that you could do the reverser like that. So if you're driving a steam train you could see you could wind the um, the cutoff or reverser by just spinning the um, using a scroll wheel effect. Joystick camera, joystick move, mouse you can make it emulate the mouse um, like, like I'm doing in the game normally. Button pad or direction pad. So button pad means that you've got effectively like an ABXY and then you can map what the ABXY actually do by going in here and saying what you want it to do. Um, or direction pad gives you like the um, uh, D-pad type system. And then you can change the um, um, haptics. You can put secondary functions on these things using mode shifting. So you can make it to where if another key is pressed this function has something else to do. So you can add second sets of functions to everything which is pretty awesome um, let me change that back to the touch menu uh, and in the touch menu you've got different layouts so you've got uh, all of these different um, different layouts and it just then picks all the ones from the top there for where you do it and you can control so much about it so this this is this is the touch menu yeah so there's all the different functions so Is AWS? There it is. You can see AWS is being pressed as I press that. And that's really easy. I can just move my hand over it, press AWS. That's it. That's all I need to do. Whereas I'm not fumbling for things um, with a controller that you would do normally. That's why I like this. I like this a lot, in case you hadn't figured that out. Right. So that's Train Sim and the Steam Controller which I'm really excited about. I need to get my profile saved for that one. Just a reminder, finding profiles, when you go into Configure Controller, you can do Browse Configs at the bottom, which is the X key, and then you can look up. In fact, someone's even put um, a Kalias binding, which is based on the template. I'm going to publish um, my one. I'm going to... Uh, I think I need to rename it. I'll do it later on. I'll publish it later on. Um, and that's all you need to do for that. Right, now, the next thing to do is Flight Sim. Um, so that I'm going to have to come all the way back out of this fort. So if I do that and then come out again, see the mouse is so much handier for these things. Right. I mean, this is a controller that is designed by PC users rather than a PC using a controller designed for a console user. Right. Let me uh, be with you in a second.
Right, so... Um, what I need to do is I need to shut that down. Let me switch over to... Um, changing route. Right, I can get this now shut down and then I can set it up to where it will work for this. Because uh, at the moment it's a little bit fussy. So we're going to do a bit of flight sim. Um, I'm not sure how we're going to do this. Well, I think we'll join someone else's server. I'll work out who we're going to join when we get there. Right, so what I now need to do is go into the library. Let's go into live game and find flight. Oops. I'm sort of doing random things now because I'm focused on the wrong application. That's better. Flight sim. Right, so if I go into Flight Sim, Kieran has donated another £15, £3,019.99p, or 3020 as my thing has rounded it up to for us. Thank you very much, to, uh, my own app. <laughs> right, we're going to do a bit of Flight Sim, and then we'll do the song to end it all up. We'll do the giveaway up before when we finish, and be the last giveaway. Ah, oh, TIS one hundred is awesome, Paviglock. Just waiting for flight sim to start up now. Hopefully it'll start up at some point. For some reason it seems to take forever to start up. I can only assume it's because of um, DLC and things. Uh, Fringe Starlin, to answer your question on Skype, uh, yes, go ahead and do that. I did press play, but what happens is it sits there in the background doing nothing for ages. Yeah, flight simulator's loading. I can see it in task manager. It's there, it'll be here very shortly. Uh, Red Orion, probably a half an hour or so, or an hour at the most on um, FSX. I'm sort of ready for some lunch, to be honest. Mr. England656, thank you for the follow, much appreciated.
286, 283 people watching at the moment. I really ought to find out why my FSX is so sluggish. It's fine once it gets going, it just seems to take forever to get going. Do you need a controller to play Flight Sim? You need something. Keyboard you can use, but it's awful. It's not very nice, because obviously it's, you need a, sort of an analogue control. So you can use Steam controller, works really, really well. Um, or you can use the uh, Xbox controller, works very, very well. Um, or if you've got a joystick, obviously you can use a joystick. You want some song while we're waiting? Train sim life. Matt's gonna drive on down the track. Train sim life. It's good to see you for come back. Matt's right here, he's just begun. Showing how it should be done. An engine driver's life is fun. And we can Train sim life Matt's gonna drive on down the track Train sim life Good to see you in the chat Matt will always do his best As he puts locos to the test He drives for hours without a rest And you can do it too There you go. <laughs> Drives for hours without a rest. That has a whole new meaning now, doesn't it? Uh, Jamie Wilkes, it is by the same uh, group as the uh, Squirrel Sunday Night Trucking song. Um, did you owe... Um, oh, I fly sim! <laughs> hey! <clears throat> uh, duo Astral Plane. There's a danger of us getting there some point soon. Uh, Pen Central, I won't be flying an airliner because I can't fly airliners. I don't particularly enjoy it either. I'll be flying a um, Diamond DA40. <laughs> Mr. Sumner, when it comes to Flight Simulator, I'm strictly a gamer. Oops. Right, so again, you can't even do this with the normal controller. Right, so what am I going to fly? Oh, hang on, we're in free flight. I want to be in multiplayer. <laughs> multiplayer is what we want. Strictly come flying. Uh, I will try hosting a session. I don't know if it's going to work. I don't know if I've got my f the um, stuff set up.
Diamond, DA40, let's go with red stripes, because uh, why not, really? Friday Harbour. Uh, we'll have realistic weather. Because we can. And uh, about 12.53, that sounds good to me. I'll set that to 32 players, let's see what happens. Right, see if you can join the session. How many air vehicles does FSX demolition come with by default? Quite a lot, actually. There's airplanes, helicopters... Jumbos, light aircraft, there's the little tiny um, flying wing. I can't remember what they call it now. It's like a tent on it with wheels and a, and a propeller. <laughs> do you not get people deliberately trying to crash? Well, if you turn off collision detection, it doesn't matter what they do. They're just buzzing around you. You can also pass or protect your... Um, your session and only allow... and only share that password protection with... Um, uh, some of your friends. Microlight, that's it, Jack Sims. So is anyone joining me on this, or can you not get to it? I don't know what the server name is. I'm assuming it's going to be reasonably obvious. I will not end the stream right on the mark, no. Um, we'll carry on going and we'll spend a little bit of time in flight sim before we end. Is anyone joining me then? Nothing there. Okay, how about someone else sets the server up then? I've not got a firewall set up on this machine, so... I don't know whether or not this machine is just not able to search. Can somebody else host a session then? Yeah, Daniel, me, it probably is NAT settings, but I'm just not up for doing that right now. So if someone else can do it, then fine. Otherwise, NAT, we will join one of the MS Flight servers, because uh, uh, they're usually a good server to join. A biggest of big men, yeah, three thousand and twenty pounds. Isn't that epic? <laughs> so up time at the moment is twenty three hours fifty eight minutes and seven seconds, eight seconds, ten seconds. Anyone starting a server? We'll do the giveaway after we've done some flight sim because uh, otherwise it's going to get all confused with me tabbing out and things. Well, let me give you the countdown based on OBS because the countdown timer is based on it being 1 p.m., which isn't necessarily right. The count up timer on OBS is about 15 seconds behind, and that's that's the that's the 100% accurate one. So I've got 59 minutes. I've got uh, 57 seconds, 56, 
50 seconds. Forty seconds. Thirty seconds. Twenty seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We've been live for 24 hours, folks. We have done a 24 hour stream. <laughs> Thank you to everyone who's watched. Thank you to all the moderators. Thank you to everyone who's donated. Mega spam. <laughs> oh, my word. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's superb. And we got £3,025 for children in need. That's pretty spectacular. 3,000 fo plus followers for the channel. That's pretty spectacular. I haven't even looked at any of the other ones yet to see how they're doing. Wow. <laughs> that's um, stunning. I'm really, really, really happy. Really, really cool. Where's the party poppers? <laughs> I don't think I could cope with party poppers right now. That's really good. Thanks very much, everybody. But don't forget, as much goes to the moderators. This could not have been done without their their help they have been legends themselves so uh, Dave Mabbott Fringe Stalin my wife Coplopper Mal Moggy easily confused I hope I missed that was uh, that's not here right now that was I can't remember but just legends all of you you're awesome Uh, Fringe Stalin, um, that's fine. Whatever it's whatever he wants. Um, it's it's up to him. Haddock, yes, no, not forgetting Haddock, of course, and the down the mineshaft team as well. They had an, uh, a fun uh, a fun stream for uh, an hour or so. Cool. So is anyone going to start a flight sim server up? <laughs> I mean, live 24 hours, 2 minutes and 30 seconds. I'm going to play FSX for, I don't know, half an hour, maybe an hour. I mean, if someone else starts a server, then at least I can just leave it and another, and you guys can carry on playing. Um, I need to go and get some food at some point, but I do want to play some FSX. I want to stream some FSX. Can I do a week-long stream? <laughs> Uh, no. <coughs> I think that would give me an early grave. I tell you what, folks, why don't we join um, MS Flights North America, then? If uh, no one can join the hoster server, if they haven't done it before. Join MS Flights North America. Can you see it on my screen? do and where do I want to go I want to start at um, Fridia Harbour Join that session. 
bunch of you already on that server now. Excellent. So we're on the MS Flights North America server. BK Gaming, if you have a code for TS13, will it mess up your game? No, it won't. It will just add the TS13 content to your installation. Ninja Joker's epic donation there that pushed us over the the edge. Uh, I'm going to Friday Harbour. If the game ever loads. I think this machine just needs a reboot, having been busy um, all week, <laughs> all day. Oh no, it's it's sitting there struggling to load data. There we go, it's loading stuff now. Yeah, I think this machine just desperately needs a reboot. It's been um, playing games all uh, for 24 hours now. And... Uh, yeah, Daniel, me, this isn't an SSD, unfortunately. Coplop and Mao, congratulations on reaching 24 hours, Matt. May the Frankers be with Frankers E be with you, and thank you for your hard work on the Twitch streams. DTG can be proud, and the BBC can be happy with a stream like this. Thank you very much, Coplop and Mao. That's very nice. Thank you for the donation. Foggy, don't forget the AWS. Another 20 pounds, 3,047. Thank you very much, Foggy. You've also got to remember I've got all the streaming software running on here. I've got the... Uh, I didn't shut down any of the other software for the rail driver or anything. That's all running on here. <laughs> I've got two three web browsers running on here. <laughs> I think it's generally... Can, uh, basically, I've, uh, I'm, I'm doing the wrong thing with the way I run this machine, but... Uh, Are we perchance going to be able to get this in a plane? Oh, it's at night. It's at night. Gyro is apparently always on. Left grip does a joystick camera. That's the flaps, yeah. Where did... Where did... Oh, simulation's paused. Oh yeah, that's better. I'm still a total noob of flying with this controller. The only problem is at night, because you can't really see anything. This is really nice, it really is, because I can... Using the gyro that's built into it, I can uh, fly around and uh, control the stick. It's a real shame that no one can see what anybody else is doing, to be honest.
better. I look at the feeling that there's an F-16 up my backside called Joe the Fish. So using the gyro you can fly around. No one can see anything. Not exactly a standard approach. Haven't really perfected landing in this thing either with the controller. Cheers, Matt G317. Right, now what we need to do, I think, is I'm going to tab out. Morgie Bears 737 thank you for the follow, much appreciated. And, um, any landing you can walk away from? Yeah, it's indeedy, so it's indeedy. I'm going to change the monitor capture. I think I can increase the gamma, can't I? Yeah, I can. Is that better? You can uh, hopefully you can see it now as almost as well as I can. Would it be possible to use rail driver for FSX? Well, in theory, no one's written the software for it, but in theory, I don't see why not. Lever's a lever. Hey, oh, Alec Warper, thank you for the follow, much appreciated. We're just having a bit of a fly with FSX. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to do FSX, given that it's night time and uh, it's difficult to see anything. And we'll get on and do a gay giveaway and then I can get on and go and have some lunch. But I wanted to sort of show you the... Uh, so it's just the gyro that's doing this as well. Another runway over there. Let's go to that runway and then I think I'll call it a day on FSX and we'll do a massive giveaway. No, last giveaway is still yet to happen, um, Mr. Wii U guy.
Okay, we can come down and land at this airfield, and then we'll call it quits. So this is another example of that touchpad and uh, another way of configuring it just with two options. Way too high up. I'm off to the left, I'm too high up. Right, there you go, folks. So that was a little bit of flight sim. Not an awful lot, but a little bit of flight sim. Oh, there's a big difference between a flight stick and a gamepad, but if you're looking for something which is a bit more generic, then it's, um... It's, um... It's... it's if you like controllers, essentially, it's a superb controller. Right! Best landing ever. Not. <laughs> Uh, I would have done more FSX if only the uh, I could have if I'd uh, set up a server, but uh, I didn't, and um, that that just made life very difficult. Right, I am going to switch to the raffle prize pot. And uh, we're going to do a, a giveaway. <coughs> um. Right. Oh, just trying to get myself centered. I'm having to think a bit harder than I would normally think a bit because I'm a bit foggy at the moment. I'm cutting you inside you. Oh, nice ground bomb. Right, so... The keyword to type into the giveaway for, and this again is for people who have not won yet. Again, I want to give everyone a chance to win something. Um, so the keyword for people who have not won yet, and this is not won yet over the entire 24-hour stream, is 24 hours. 24 hours. 24 H O U R S is the keyword. So if you can type 24 hours into the uh, chat, then that will um, enter you into the giveaway, and then we'll start reeling off some uh, some names. <clears throat> Can't believe we've got three thousand forty seven. That's unbelievable. Just want to say thank you again to everybody, really. It's just been an amazing twenty four hours. Show.